Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations is truly special, because if you look behind me right there, guys, oh my goodness, we have some beautiful modded explosives in the game now. These look absolutely amazing, and they do blow up just like the explosive canisters that we've just gotten in the game. Now, in this video, we are only going to be using one of these modded explosives, but as you can see, there are a lot of different kinds. Now, if there is anything you want to see done with these awesome things, then let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas. There are clearly all sorts of different missile designs here and bombs that we can use, uh, but we are going to be using this small one right here. Now, we're not just going to be dropping one of them, of course. We are going to be dropping a whole bunch of them, onto this little army base right here. So we're going to be doing a little tour of the army base to see what it looks like before the destruction and what we get to destroy. And of course, we have ourselves the finished bomber right here. So we have this loaded up with bombs. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of this as well. And then, of course, we are going to start dropping the bombs. It's going to be loads of fun. There's going to be tons of destruction. So let's get to it. Alright, so this is going to be the target that we're going to be shooting at here. As you guys can see, it's just a little tiny military base that I got on the Steam Workshop. It's made by The Amazing M. Uh, so over here we do have some hangars, and right here we got some jeeps. I did get some creations off the Workshop just to add a few more little targets here, but we got some jeeps there. We got a radio antenna to shoot at. Now this is pretty cool. This is like the power station right here, and if we go up these stairs here, you'll actually see there is an extremely epic spotlight. Just look at the size of this thing. Look how bright that light is. My goodness. Uh, now, I'm not going to really leave that on, though. It's kind of distracting. It's a little too bright. But if we make our way over here, we have a couple tanks that we can also hit with our bombs. And there is also a helicopter on this helicopter landing pad right here as well. And a little surprise, guys. Inside of these little uh, kind of hangar tent things, we have more explosives guys now i don't know this is not the safest way to store explosives but we do have a few lying about which means we're definitely going to see a lot of explosions now we are going to seal the entire army base up look at this guys the door is going to shut down and we are not going to open this door again until after we have done a whole bunch of destruction and then we get to see what's happened all right, so now we're going to check out the bomber plane, and I'm going to mention it right away that this is not using the wing mod, because originally I was using it, and then there were some issues after an update, and the creation wasn't working anymore. Uh, so I ended up making a lot of adjustments and changes just based off of thruster flight control. So right now, we're just going to kind of go over all of its functions, and then we're going to take off and try and bomb that army base. So let's just quickly hop inside here by going right here. This is going to be a speed walkthrough here. So we got the front turret right here, guys. Look at this. You can control the front guns, turn them on, turn them off. Absolutely fantastic. Up here, we have the top turret as well. Look at this. You can turn from side to side, shoot that one as well. And then to get out of there, you just have to go right here and press the seat button right there. Look at that. And then back here, this is how you get access to the rear turret. So we do have the rear turret. And check this out, guys. Looks absolutely fantastic. Even creates massive clouds of smoke. And to get out of here, you just have to go to this block or this block right there. And I'm going to mention as well, we have some bombs. You guys know that. So there's some bombs right here connected to uh, cardboard and some spud guns that are going to release the entire thing. And we're just going to use that back block right there to hop right out. So that's pretty much the, uh, the quick of the bomber plane. So now I'm going to take off, guys. So that way I can give you guys an example of what it looks like when all of your bombs are being deployed. So like I mentioned, guys, this is no longer using the wing mod. And that is because I was just having way too many issues with it. So now we're just going to kind of uh, turn around. Before I actually do a run over there, I just kind of want to show you guys what it's going to look like. So we're going to press the 8 key, which is going to open the entire thing. Now look at this. All of the bombs have been armed and they are ready to go. And then all you have to do is press the 9 key, which is that big red button right there. We press that and look at this, guys. One after the other all of the bombs get released and it's just such a beautiful sight to see them all fall in sequence like that so it's kind of funny though sometimes they blow up sometimes they don't oh by the way that was a really nice landing uh, so it's kind of weird but it's time to start bombing the army base 
So, for the sake of explosive science, I am literally just going to line this plane up directly with the army base, guys. So there's no ifs and or buts. We are just going to bomb this thing, no problem whatsoever. All I have to do is release them at the right time. So I'm actually, I'm going to want to arm them right now as we are already making a pretty close approach. And we're going to get a nice view actually because we are going to be so much lower to the ground as well. So this is going to be perfect. Look at this. We are lined up directly over top of it. Oh man, this is going to be it right here. I don't want to release them too quick though. So we're just going to do it right over top. Boom. There we go. All right. They have all released. They are landing in the base. Wow. Some of them bounced and some of them exploded. Some of them didn't. That was, oh geez, okay, there's still more explosions, a little delay there. Alright, that's not bad. So, I'm gonna basically just reload this thing, and we're gonna do that a few more times. Alright, here we go, guys. It is time for round two. Now, I'm hoping these explode a little bit better this time, because that was... That was not as cool as I was expecting it to be. Alright, so, we're gonna arm them. There we go, opening that up. Oh, I better get my landing gear, might as well. We don't want the bombs to hit that. There we go. Okay, so the bombs are out. Looks like we're going for another pass directly over the center. So why don't I turn this just to the side a little bit. Alright, here we go, guys. I'm going to drop them right now. There they go. Oh, yeah, that was a good hit. Look at that. We even flipped the tank. Wow, that is so cool. Alright, I uh, I am crash landing here. Uh-oh. Alright. Um. So, yeah, so that's not bad, but... I think we gotta come from the other direction this time. Alright, I'm feeling this one, guys. This should be a good one. Let's go up a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Arming the bombs. By the way, guys, I have been waiting to do this in Scrap Mechanic for so long. I have been making bomber planes and airplanes and all sorts of crazy stuff. And like I mentioned, guys, I can, it can finally happen. Like, this is legitimately happening in Scrap Mechanic. Alright, I am not quite lined up here, so I'm gonna have to fix this really fast here uh oh okay that's not bad okay here we go drop him oh man I hope those hit the helicopter oh it looks good come on oh no the ones that went around the helicopter didn't explode all right so I'm thinking I'm gonna do this pass and then we'll do one more pass after it and then we're gonna stop and we're gonna take a look and assess the damage guys I'm so curious to see what it's gonna be like all right there we go we have that opening up the bombs are ready to go looks like we're gonna be passing directly over the tanks this time so hopefully uh, hopefully we get some good destruction here all right. Oh, we're going to maybe hit that antenna, too, actually. Let's see here. All right. We're going to drop him right now. Oh, yes. Look at that. Right on the tanks. Oh, that was the best run yet. Oh, amazing. All right. So, yeah, we're going to do one more pass, and then we got to go see what's happening there. Now, this pass, I'm really hoping to get a direct hit on the actual helicopter, or maybe even one of those little tents with the loose missiles inside of them. I think that would be awesome. All right, here we go. This looks like it's going to be a really good pass for the uh, helicopter, actually. All right, so let's arm the bombs. Look at this nice view here. Oh, yeah, I think we're going straight for the helicopter. Look at this. All right, here we go. We're going to line it up nice and low. There we go. Oh, yes. Look at this. Amazing. So good. Oh, I just blew myself. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, that was definitely an amazing last run for those bombs, but guys, you know I wasn't gonna leave you hanging. I've got two of these giant bombs loaded in now. I don't know what is going to happen, but I feel like I read your guys' mind. You guys were like, no way you're gonna show us that giant bomb and then not even drop it. So here we go, guys. Let's see if we can even take off with these massive bombs. I don't know if we can actually do it or not. All right, I definitely had to increase my thruster power here, guys, but I do have the bombs ready to go. So we are going to make our way directly over top here. I have no idea what's going to happen. All right, here we go. We are over it in just a moment. All right, drop them. Oh, I just blew myself up. Where did the other one go? Oh, wow. All right. That was 
an absolute failure. The thing completely blew up. I don't even know where the other one went. Uh-oh. All right, guys. We got some live rounds here. I think I'm going to have to dispose of these. All right. Just get rid of those one. Oh, whoops. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. that's That was an accident. That one doesn't really count. But you know what? That was a cool explosion nonetheless. All right. Let's get rid of that one. Wow. There's so many loose ones. I'm, I'm very curious to know why sometimes they detonate. And sometimes they don't, sometimes they just bounce around. All right, so let's open up that, you know what? We don't even have to open up that door anymore. Look at this, we just blew a hole right through the wall. All right, so let's see what the damage is around this side here. So there's no walls on that side or that side. It's exposed all of the internal workings of the door. Here is one of the tents. Wow, absolutely demolished all the way through the ground. Another one here. What is this? Wow! Oh man, this is awesome. Look, this is just part of one of the Jeeps. It's just, it's running. Look at this. The wheel is just sitting here running on its own right now. You can't even make this stuff up. Look at this. This tent is just gone. There is not even a tent here anymore. Now, this helicopter looks like it barely even took any damage. Let's climb up here. Look at this though. The landing pad is completely destroyed. Wow. And this is the helicopter. Look at that. I love being able to just see the aftermath and the damage that these explosives have been causing. Man, that is insane. Look at this. I think all the blades are up there, though, which is quite impressive. Wow, man. There's even... Look at this. There's a big wall missing right here. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Gotta be careful, guys. There are still live rounds kicking around here. Now, these are the tanks. I smashed these tanks. Look at this. You can't even tell that they are tanks anymore. And then right here, we've got the main spotlight building. Wow, the stairs are completely demolished. We can't even get upstairs anymore. It looks like the spotlight is okay. And the antenna survived as well. Very interesting. Now, look at this, though. I just want to mention, look at all of those loose bombs over there, guys. Like, what is going on? I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, it's not just an issue with the mod. Maybe it's uh, an issue. Oh, uh oh. Oh, boy. Maybe it's an issue with uh, the explosives in general. Wow, this is so much fun. I could shoot these around all day. So, that was some incredible destruction here today, guys. This mod is absolutely amazing. If you want to check it out for yourself, there will be a link in the description. And of course, guys, if you have any ideas for future builds that uses these bombs, then let me know down in the comments. So, if you did enjoy this video or the build, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to tune in for more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So, that is going to be it for me today, guys. Now, I'm sure you noticed in the middle there, there is a bomb. It is time for one final boom. I know it's lagging, but let's just do this anyway. And, guys... I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.